I think we're about to miss our flight right now, but it's fine. It's fine. What's up, you nation? Today's the day that we have planned a long time ago. We are heading back to America from Sweden on TAP Air Portugal, and it's gonna be a crazy day full of emotions, full of so many things. We're trying to go to two lounges when we're in Lisbon, and mm -hmm. it's just gonna be a ridiculous day. I can't believe this day has come. We've known it's been coming for a long time, and we've had to like adjust, you know, with the thought of going back to the United States. We've been on the road for six whole months. So this is gonna be just a day full of emotions. <laughs> but first we have to catch our Uber to the airport. And he said DC and I was like what We're going to America like what is going on and then we checked our bags Also, the Sun was up. How early this morning? 3 30 in the morning So it just feel, it feels like a normal 6 a.m. Day. Yeah <laughs> Like do we miss something because it's, it's summer here? So the sun's up really early and then we got one boarding pass. It's the first time it's ever happened. He was like, oh, it's a yeah. gold pass. You just use it for both flights. Stockholm to Lisbon, Lisbon How to forward Washington. thinking. Okay, we made it through security, but unfortunately it's 6 a.m. and there's no lounge. No lounge is open, and so we're just gonna go straight to the gate, hop on our plane. Hopefully we're gonna sleep for like four hours. Uh, sure I don't know. It's just so weird because it's 6 o'clock in the morning and the sun's up like it's 12 p.m. Yeah. So how long is our flight? Is it, what is it? I thought it was two, but apparently it's four. Are we getting into a different time zone though? True. later oh, it was a long flight seats were a little uncomfortable but they had a good meal so that was nice they did it was a waffle with blueberries <sighs> with, and blackberries with fresh blueberries it was super tart it was good so now we're gonna go get more food at the lounge It's been about four hours since we first got here, and we've been just eating sandwiches, looking at the flights leaving. Drink it's been coffee. catching up on some work. It's been very productive, and we're here for six hours, and so we have like one more hour left. And our six month journey is coming to an end today, and it's not the end of our like vacation lifestyle. No. It was the beginning of this lifestyle, yes. but it's the first end of the first vacation of this lifestyle. Yes, by no means is this an end to our YouTube channel or anything like that, just because we're going home. So we're gonna ask, we wanna answer like three questions that we get all the time because we've just gone on six months vacation to 18 countries and everyone's asking us like, well what was your favorite country? So, what was your favorite country? I think it has to, I'm sorry, it is a tie between Vietnam and Thailand. Oh. There's, they are similar, but completely different. Thailand, because obviously the food is amazing. I mean, it's up there, everybody's so nice and genuine, and it's just a really, really fun place to be. And Vietnam, because I feel like people don't go there, and it's like underrepresented as a tourist like location, a destination to go to. I just think it has so much cool culture that people don't consider like that's where you need to go to you know experience Southeast Asia. They kind of yeah. like dismiss it as like, oh, it's had some tragedies, it might not be as fun. Mm -hmm. I think it's an awesome place to go. Mm -hmm. Well, keeping with that, like my favorite, well, I guess it's 
since you have two, I have to have two. We'll go with China first because of that same reason. Like it's off the beaten path. Everyone's yeah. like, why are you going there? The culture is completely different. Nothing tastes anything like what you normally have. So we were there for 22 days and we didn't eat normal food at all. But that was amazing <laughs> because I normal did. Food tests. Yeah, I, I didn't know that you could go somewhere still in the world because everything's so connected now. I could give you this experience of just like being completely lost all the time. Yes. It was amazing. And I guess my second favorite country, well right now, because we kind of just went there, would be Estonia. It was really forward thinking and it was really on the water and I just had such a fun time with the food and the people and it was really nice architecture in the medieval towns. Yeah, oh my gosh. We experienced so many medieval towns yeah. recently, they're so much fun. And we did have a couple of good meals there. So on the second question, what was your favorite meal of the trip or the entire day? It's hard to remember every single meal we've had over the past six months. This is so many. But I would have to say that I really loved, okay, it's less of a meal. It's like an entire day of eating. Okay. The Greek Athens food tour. Because it was just like every single part of that day was absolutely delicious. And we went to probably like four different eating spots. Mm -hmm. It was so much food and it was so much fun. What about you? Uh, well, I'll have to go with something that was really at the very beginning. It was our second place we went after Bangkok, which was in Chiang Mai, and we were on search for Khao Soi. Yeah. And it was just like I this trek that we kind, we kind of went to the city looking for that, but maybe some other things, but we were really, it was a dish that we loved back Cow. in America. And just like first actually trying the real thing in Thailand was, it was amazing. Because it, so it was like, I was looking for that forever and we finally yeah. found it. So it was, it was so spicy. <laughs> And then on to the third question, which was, which was your favorite mode of transportation? That's really hard. We've had so many. Okay, I'll go first on this one. Go ahead. I like boat transportation. That's something I didn't think I would ever like. My mother went on a couple cruises when I was younger, and I was like, I'll never be able to sleep on a boat. I get really sick on the boat, and like, there's no way I can deal with yeah. all this. But the two places we did go on a boat were absolutely beautiful when we yeah. spent the night on a boat. Which one was your more, well, which one was more your favorite? I mean, Halong Bay was really cool, but we just did Arpelio in, in Sweden. I guess Halong Bay, because it was really an experience. We got to go canoeing yeah. in the ca in the caves and just. You lost your phone. Yeah, but the question is about transportation. So here, transportation is boat travel by far. You know, I have grown up on boats, so that was so much fun. Every ferry we took, every time we were on a boat, was a lot of like a great time. But I think the one that I liked the most, just because it was so new to me, was the train travel. Oh, okay. Like going across Bulgaria in mm -hmm. that slow train and seeing the beautiful landscape and it was just something completely new. Yeah. And the same in Ukraine. Well, and like people coming in and out of your cabin, like interacting yeah. with locals and it's a, such an experience that you would normally get. Exactly. Yeah. Something you definitely don't get in the okay, United States. I see States. that. Because yeah. like boat travel and plane travel. You like really had expensive. to plan it out. Yeah. You like had to bring a picnic on, you know, because there's no, there's no getting off the train because you're going to get left. So that, I think that was probably my favorite mode just because it was just so new to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was definitely, okay. I yeah. love train travel. <laughs> you can't so, change your answer. <laughs> okay, you're right. So now we have about one hour before we get on our flight back to America. We was just saying that we're eight hours away from America. And this is the closest we've been in almost seven yeah. months. Yeah. It's been six it months of heaven on crazy. earth. Crazy. It's gotta come to an end sometime. from the lounge and I just want to say it was a completely different experience from our first lounge in Shanghai, China. We were so tired. We were, we were so delusional as you can see in this clip I'm going to put in now. What's up? <laughs> we're really excited because we're in the lounge and this food. That was crazy. I don't understand. We're just like such seasoned travelers now and it, nothing you can throw at us is going to make us worried or like we're about to miss our flight right now, but it's right, fine. It's fine. We're just chilling. <laughs> And that is it. I have so many mixed emotions. Come to cry right now. I'm just like, we're going to DC. We've been so many places, experienced so many things. Grown as my parents tonight. Like I just, Crazy. I don't know. Like grown as a person, grown as a traveler. It just so many experiences Our happened. Outlook has definitely changed on. Oh, stuff. completely changed on a lot of stuff. Uh, anyways, now we're gonna fly eight hours to DC. Hopefully we get a window seat so I can show you some cool shots of Portugal. 
Oh my gosh, I haven't had a TV in such a long time. And knee room? What? What is this plane? This is gonna be an amazing eight hours. <laughs> Patriotic music play. I can't even, words can't describe the thousands of emotions I'm feeling right now. Our plane was like completely different, filled with families. Anyways, I'll tell you more about it later. I can't be filming right now. And walking through these doors, we are officially in America, the United States. <laughs> oh, that trip was crazy. It is 3 o'clock in the morning our time, but it is 10 o'clock at night here. So the airport is kind of desolate, except for customs. It took 50 minutes to get through customs. Anyways, we're here now. Super excited we're back to be back in America. We're gonna film a whole travel series on America. We're going to New Orleans, we're going to the East Coast, we're going to the middle of the country, going to Denver. It's gonna be amazing. But this past six months has been awesome and thank you guys so much for being with us yes. on this entire journey. Now let's go find my parents. <laughs> Okay, so we just went through security. Oh, it's so bright. No, you're so funny. We're gonna put his little fingers in his mouth. <laughs> and it's really interesting in Scandinavia because everyone's so tall, and I always feel so short. It's like I'm walking amongst, amongst trees, which never, ever happens. Oh. 